We're 11 games without a win. We've got seven games left in the season. We're just one point above the relegation zone. We are in a relegation dogfight. But can we start to turn it around today against relegation rivals Hungerford Town in today's episode of Back to the Bowling? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. And yep guys, big massive game today. We are at home, at the bowling, against Hungerford Town, 18th versus 21st place. We are one point above the relegation zone. This is big, I can't believe it's coming down to this. We did alright earlier on in the season, but like I said in the intro, we are now 11 games without a win. And we did have a mini revival in between the last episode and this one. Because as you can see, in the last game, or the last episode, we did lose to Eastbourne Borough 2-0. And then we lost the next 3, 2-1, 3-1 and 2-0 respectively. Didn't really show any signs of improvement. And so I thought, you know what, I'll listen to the old CJ plays, my assistant manager. And yeah, 3-3, three, three. We, we, we got when we, when we changed the tactics. We've gone to 4-2-3-1. So we're scoring goals again, which is very nice. But we're also still conceding them, which isn't so nice. But we drew that game 3-3. Three, three. Very, very back and forth game that. Uh, they went 3-0 up very early, within the first 23 minutes. We then got one back immediately following their third goal. And then we eventually, eventually somehow got it back towards the end. And so 3 all draw away there. And then at home against Western Supermare, we did get a point at a very, very late point again. Uh, against like Western Supermare, like I say. Kim Jae-hun with the goal at the end. And so, decent result that. At least we started to pick up points. But then the Chippenham game, which I was going to bring you guys on camera, and I did record it. But stupid blooming uh, Windows update knocked out all my settings without me knowing. And so I recorded it and checked it this morning and no sound. So that's why I didn't bring you that game. And also we lost that one. It was a very poor game. Not sure what happened. I went into that game really confident after those two draws. But we just didn't show up. And so we're back today. Uh, it says there Lewis Carey with a 5.9 in that game. Might it be time I drop him? Let's have a look at a couple of his latest ratings. 6-7, 6-7. 6-7, 6-7. 6-5. Uh, 6-7, okay. So other than that game, he's been dependable -ish. I'm gonna, I'm going to give him this game. That's probably a bit of a mistake, but I'm going to give him that one. And also, just something else I just want to show you guys. Because I know I have been saying like, all season, oh, we should be finishing at the bottom. We should be here. We should be there. But I've just found this screen, thanks to Grey Hair Gaming. I was watching his video the other day, one of his episodes. If you haven't gone and seen his stuff, go and check him out. Go and subscribe to his channel. Very, very awesome YouTuber. I'm loving his series at the minute. The Nordic Journeyman. Very, very good. And yeah, he, he was looking at this screen in his video the other day. And it's, this is a screen where you can sort of compare your team against the rest of the league. So like your stats and see where you rank up. I really like this screen. And so if we just have a look at this, this silver line here, which is just like just above, the, above our green bars. You can just sort of see that as far as goalkeeping goes, we're about average. We're about average for keeping the goals out, but not for distribution. For distribution, we're quite poor, to be honest. But down this level, does that really matter? It's just It should just be about keeping the goals out. And so, that we're okay in. Defence, we're really good in. And like if we have a look at, our, at the strength of our defenders, we're second best for strength. Which is just amazing. 11.5 on above, so which is above average for the strength. And yeah, positioning, we're quite good. We're above average for that. We're just about above average for marking. And then all the rest, sort of tackling, heading and jumping, we are around average. Pace and acceleration, which might be where we're being caught out. They're very much below average. But the next one is where our squad is really, really struggling. 
Because, like, as you see, midfield, we are very, very poor. Like, technique, we're the worst in the league. Decision-making, we're 16th. Uh, stamina, which is really worrying for a midfield, we're, what, 18th? Uh, and long shots, we're 19th, which is something I am going to change in a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to tell my midfielders to stop, to stop taking long shots. And that's all thanks to this screen. If I hadn't looked at this screen, I wouldn't know to change that. And like, even like our passing, that's very poor for a midfield. If we do manage to stay up, that is the one area of the pitch I am going to be looking at improving our midfield for next season. And so attack, we're very good for attacking. Finishing, we're third in the league. Heading, we're fifth. And fourth for jumping reach. And what's that? Twelfth for pace. And fourth for acceleration. So I'm very happy with that. And so with all that said and done, let's go and look at the team today. And go and change them midfield instructions so that they do suit less. Because where is Kim Jai Hun? There he is. And can I tell him to suit less? There you can. Suit less often. Fewer risky passes. And that's what I'm going to say for Burkane as well. Uh, suit less often. Fewer risky passes. And yep. And also O'Sullivan. Do I want to tell him to suit less? I think so. Suit less. But I'm, I'm gonna say do, I'm gonna say dribble less as well and fewer risky passes. And now this is the team for today's game. We've got Carey in goal, Wilson on the left, Kelly and Still in the centre of defence, Smith on the right, Burkane in the centre of midfield coming in for Ethan Miller, who really has not been good enough in the last few games. Kim Jai Hun in the centre of midfield, Curtis on the left. McFoy Johnston out on the right. O'Sullivan in the middle in the attacking midfield role. Just behind the star man, Jamie Calvin. Let's go and get a win today. We need this so, so badly. Hungerford are the favourites, surprisingly. Well, I say surprisingly, we've not won in 11 games, have we? So they're 4-5 to five on. We're 3-1 to one to win. Our recent form has been woeful, but Hungerford has been fair, apparently. So, okay. And in the build-up to this game, uh, the Hungerford manager did come out and criticise the state of our pitch. And so I didn't know there was anything up with it. So I've gone and had a word with the chairman, and that's going to be relayed at the end of the season. So hopefully, if we stay up, we'll be able to see that, and hopefully that might improve some of the results uh, for next season. But it is very, very important that we do stay up, because... Uh, I'm playing this on the vanilla database in case you didn't know and so we're currently in the lowest league So if we go down that's end of the series Or at least it might just mean rebooting the series We will talk all about that at the end of the season if it comes to that and now as far as the team talk goes I'm gonna say we've got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone what we're capable of and only one person looks happy, and that's my main man, Kim Jai Hun. And CJ plays has not said a great deal. So I'm going to end the team talk there. I'm going to go and kick off, and let's hopefully get what would be a massive three points. Come on, you EastEnders. First highlight of the game, and it seems to be us attacking. Curtis with the ball, has it taken off him there by Tyler? Can we go and close him down and win it back? Apparently not. And is this going to be Hungerford coming at us? Nope. They play a long ball, but we intercept it. Goes to Kim Jai Hun. And he goes centrally into Burkane. He's probably going to go back to our defence now, isn't he? Yep, he goes to Steel. He tries to play it long, but it gets headed away. And Kelly Eaves to Wall to Meachin. And what's Meachin going to do? Come on, lads. Win it back. Hughes plays it long. And Hernandez is through. Hernandez suits and that goes very, very much wide. Ten minutes in, we're, we're coming forward again. Wilson with a throw in, but it goes away. But we win it back with O'Sullivan, who crosses it into the box. McFoy Johnston's beaten to it there. And we win the second ball there, quite surprisingly. And now Wilson goes long, and that goes to absolutely nobody. Hernandez in their left-back roll, clears it long, and it goes to Wall. And oh, we win it back. We are really are fighting for the ball today. This is looking a lot better. McFoy Johnston with it. Crosses it in. And Curtis there just loses out the header. 
and O'Sullivan gives it away, goes to a wall, and are they going to run at us? Come on, come on somebody, run into the wall, and he goes for a long shot, 40 yards out, and yeah, two teams are very low on confidence, I think you can say. And now Carey with a goal kick for us, that goes long to absolutely nobody. And now Meacham to Kelly Evans. And can we win it back? Come on. Right with the ball now. Back to Parridge. Or Partridge, even. And it goes to Meacham. Meacham threw. Oh, he saw it off the bar. Oh, we survived for the second. And now O'Sullivan on the way back for us. Oh. Oh, oh, we've not had a shot on target yet. This is not good. Oh, here they come again. Hughes with the ball. Squares it to Hernandez on the edge of the box. And his long shot just goes wide. Going to give it another 10 minutes before I start thinking about making changes already. Smith now with the ball. Goes to McFoy Johnston. And can he cross the ball into the box? He does, but it goes to absolutely nobody. And now Hernandez plays it long. And it just goes to wall. Oh, it hits our man. Goes to McFoy Johnston again. Smith with it. Come on. Find a teammate. He does. Curtis. Quickly. Or, well, no, that's the opposite of quickly, isn't it? That's slowly. Kim to Wilson. Throw it in the box. Come on, son. Oh, he doesn't. He goes to McFoy Johnston. And can McFoy Johnston beat his man or go past him? Nope. Smith. Back to McFoy Johnston, who's in the box now. Crosses it in. Just gets headed away. And now Burr came with it. Took him with a long shot. I... What? You all, you all saw me put it on his instructions. No long shots. So what does he do? Goes for the longest shot I've seen in my life. Muppet. But, oh, that might be a little bit interesting for us. Hungerford have had to change their goalkeeper. Marcus Buchamp has gone off for an injury. Okay, what, does that mean we do more long shots after that big rant? I don't think so. I think we're going to leave it as is. Maybe just go a bit more attacking. What do you think? Or, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put McFoy Johnston as the wide target man. That's what I prefer him as. And leave it at that and just see if we can get anything out of this. Come on. We are never going to have a better chance to win a game, surely. How often do you see a goalkeeper having to go off injured? 40 minutes gone now. Curtis with the corner for us. But absolutely awful corner. And it's going to be Hungerford to get to it first, I think. No. Burkane wins it back. Nicely done. And now Kelly to Wilson. Come on, I've got the lads on much higher tempo. But it's just not happening. Wilson to Kelly. To Wilson. And back to Carey, just for a change. And now go forward, he does. And, but loses out the ball there. Wall with it. Back to Omelukan, what a name that is. And he goes back to his keeper. He goes long, goes to Wall. And our man Smith with a great interception there. Now come on Johnston. Come on Johnston, what a ball that is. Calvin is on to that. Now he crosses it in. Oh, oh, par Partridge, Calvin, Curtis, McFoy, Johnston with a head up. We're leading. We are leading a game of football, people. Oh, my gosh. This is not a drill. We are winning. This is what winning feels like, people. We are leading. Get in. It took an absolute age to happen. But look at this. Partridge headed it away. Then it's finally Curtis with a cross. And McFoy Johnston acting as the wide target man. Heads the ball into the back of the net. And now can we see this through to half time? Oh, one last highlight before half time. Let's hope this is just an end of half highlight. Right with the ball for Hungerford to Kelly Evans. Tries to play it through. Meacham to Wall. Back to Kelly Evans with a long shot. And oh, oh. Just wide, just wide. That surely is half time now. Indeed, that is half time. We are leading this game of football, but to be honest, I don't know how. We've only had three shots to their six. We've had one shot on target to their none. So that might be how we are winning. Their strikers are just low on confidence. 
and possession has been very even. 48% for us, 52% for them. And I'm going to go team talk. I'm going to go uh, passionately. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. And a couple of them are delighted. Let's hope we can see this through. To see the next 20 minutes and then start making changes about slowing down and holding on to this. And now start this second half. Oh, Bully. Well, that I've just murdered that name, and I? Whoops. Well, Ke Kelly with the ball for us. Goes to Carey. And Carey going long. And is anyone going to get onto this? And Sullivan knocks it down for Johnston. And Johnston plays it to the other side of the pitch to Curtis. And Curtis goes for a long shot and grieves. Far, far too easy for him to save. Now Hungerford coming forward, but Smith takes it off their, their winger's toes. And he's just cleared it into the other half. And now Partridge to Omelikun. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably going to say it about 10 different times today. As Hungerford, I've had a shot. And it's come off the post. Come on, get it away. No. Wool, wool with the ball. Get it off him. It's hit our man and it's gone away. We've survived for the second as McFoy Johnston plays the ball to absolutely nobody. 50 minutes gone. Carey, our man, with the long, long free kick to absolutely none of our men. And now Wall takes it off him. He's been all over this game, hasn't he? Hernandez to Kelly Evans for Hungerford. And is our defender going to get to that? No, he's not. He's let Wall get to that. Wall with a cross. Meechan with the goal. Oh. What do you do? What was our defender thinking here? Who is it who's just let Wall get onto this? Let's have a look at this. It's that fella there, Smith. Why is he not gone with the man? 1-1. One, one. And now immediately following that, McFoy Johnston now with the ball. Goes to Smith. And Kim Jai Hoon's in a little bit of space. Do not shoot. What did I just tell you? What did I just say, my man? Hughes with the ball for Hungerford. To Kelly Evans in the box. And that's gone wide. Hour gone now. Smith with the throw in to McFoy Johnston in the box. He plays it back to Smith who crosses it first time. Curtis, oh he was almost in a little bit of space there. Kim's had a shot, he's taken a deflection. Gone back to where he started with McFoy Johnston. And Hughes heads it away. Kim again picks it up. Goes to Curtis, cross it in. Ah, oh, why did he not cross it in first time? Okay guys, this might be somewhat of a risky move. But I am bringing on a 15-year-old youth intake regen in place of Jamie Calvin. Calvin, I don't think, has had the best game of his life. But this guy here, Peter Dynan, he's, he might only be 15. But he's two-star potential ability already. Four, maybe five-star potential ability. He's got ten for first touch, eight for heading. And if we just have a look, he's five foot eleven already so he's only going to grow but as for today I'm bringing him on he's made a couple of sub appearances already and he's done okay without being amazing but I do think he is due something awesome to happen very soon and so we're bringing on the youngster we're getting desperate but hopefully he can win us this game all 68 minutes in McFoy Johnston's through but he's had the ball taken off his little toe and I, I thought we was going to nick a goal then. 20 minutes remaining. Partridge with a free kick. Kelly heads it out of our box. It's going to be their man Hernandez to pick it up. Just inside our half. As Hernandez it goes back to Hughes who plays it long. And Smith is there in a world of his own. Goes forward to McFoy Johnston who just about keeps it in. And he goes long. And the youngster Peter Dynan is on to this. He shoots. He scores. I thought he scored, oh, oh my days. Just about 15 minutes remaining. Kelly Evans to Hernandez with a long shot. And that goes over the bar. And now I'm just going to make another change. Oh, God. CDNG is not in the best of morale, is he? But he might be able to do something for us. Oh, I'm going to bring NG. I know it's not his favourite position either. But I'm going to do that. And Lee put him on attack. Because we do need to get a win. And also I'm going to be. I'm going to take a gamble. 
We're going to bring Jacob Kane on. He's been moaning about not getting game time as of late. And so this is his chance to show me that I'm wrong and to earn himself a starting place in the team. Under 10 minutes to go. Right now with the ball on the edge of our box and he suits that well, well wide. If anything, you could you could say he, he did he, he not do that right, did he? And now Smith to McFoy Johnston. Back to Smith who crosses it into the box. And gee, with a head out, I just lost out there. Kim Jai Hoon, fight! Run, you idiot! Ah! Now Meechun with the ball on the edge of our in the, in the edge of our half to Hughes. Oh, and that's gone through to absolutely nobody. And do I gamble? Do I go attacking? Yeah, let's go for it. Last five minutes. If we could get a win, that could change our season. And now Neman goes back to Greaves to Hernandez. Hernandez on the edge of our box. Oh, he goes past our man like he's not even there. Meechin to Wall. Right through and no! Oh my days. Diaz right. What? It was our man there. Let's just pause this and see who that is on. That's Smith again. That's two mistakes he's made today. He is not playing next week. And that leaves us in a very, very bad position, I think. As let's just bring the league table up. That's a bit ambitious. Only one to start the top three, isn't it? And so, oh, as things stand, we're level on points with the relegation zone. That is not good. But McFoy Johnston with a head out end, with a cross even, and NG just heads it into the goalie's hands. Oh, come on, lads. I've just encouraged them. But I don't think that's going to do anything for us. It's Wall with the ball, but still intercepts. Goes to Wilson. Wilson with it to Kim Jai hoon to our man Kane who just clears it and they're through again. I'm I'm sure their I'm sure their second goal come even before me going attacking took effect. But was that the mistake? Let me know. But CJ, your four two three one doesn't work. Accept it now. I'm gonna be changing it for the next game. Five minutes left, and now it's Kane with the ball. He loses it there. Meechin to Wall, back to right, to Hughes, can somebody please close him down? We should be using our strength, maybe that's what we've not got going on right, let's have a look while this is going on. Have I got closing down on? Sometimes, okay. That's what we're doing for the next game. But as for this one, they're coming forward again, it's Kelly Evans with a long shot. And yeah, five minutes to go. We're not getting back into this one, are we, people? 30 seconds gone. Hungerford have just scored again. 4-1. Let's have a butchers at this on the replay. Peter Dine and the youngster. Maybe it's a mistake putting him on. I thought he might be able to change the game, but he just gave it away to Hernandez, who lobbed it over the top. And there you see it. 12 without a win. We've got, what, four or five games left. But even just one win. One win and we could be alright. As Meechin has ended up there with a hat-trick somehow. Don't know how. And so I'm going to go talk to team. Uh, uh, what do you say? I'm far from pleased. I'm far from pleased because I am. And it's only got a few of them motivated. I don't know how we're going to turn this around, but we have to. We need to. If any of you guys have got any advice uh, for tactics, let me know down below. I know one of you guys, uh, AW Groom, I believe it was, said about going 5 3 2. That's something I might try now. I'm going to try anything. So if anyone has any advice for tactics, let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, if you've enjoyed that video, uh, give me a thumbs up down below. And also subscribe to the channel to see more. Because the end of this series, the end of this season, is certainly going to be exciting. It's going to be tense. 
So you want to be subscribing. And if you do, hit the little bell button so you get notified whenever I do upload anything. And yeah, just a couple of things left to say. Uh, follow me on Twitter at BadJokesFM. Follow the club on Twitter at Eastham underscore FC. And yeah, I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.